Pigowski. What we have here today is project number 65, uh, Lockline Magbase from October 2023. Now, why, what, what is it? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm always missing my third hand. So as an engineer, I've built myself uh, one. And uh, yeah, I don't think you can buy stuff exactly like that. I usually make smaller ones for electronics which I do have and they are useful, but this is larger and has some additional features. So, <coughs> apologies, any of you familiar with machining will probably recognize the main elements. We have the lock line, a genuine lock line and a very cheap mag base. So, for those unfamiliar, let me start explaining from the bottom up. So, the mag base is a magnetic base. It's a hunk of uh, probably cast iron or maybe steel. I mean, this one was the cheapest I could get my hands on and it's uh, still not exactly a cheap thing. And yeah, machined surface on the back. The bottom has a bit of a V-block. And the main thing and the magnetic part of it is that this lever here rotates a magnetic cylinder and when it's on, and it's on a ferromagnetic thing, it is really, really, you know, magnetically stuck. It's not gonna move anywhere. So yeah, this is our base. Then, for our flexible shafting, we have actual, genuine, made in Germany uh, lock line. So, you might be thinking about those uh, cheapo, tripod, uh, flexible legs for your smartphone. Well, this isn't anything like that. This is really expensive because this is a pressure hose. Uh, it's used on machines for delivering uh, coolant liquid. So, you know, like a cutting oil or even air. I mean, this is airtight, watertight, liquid tight, and also, you know, chemically inert that you can put this stuff in and it just works. So yeah, pretty expensive for a thing, but I think it's generally awesome. And it's a LOC dash line, so without a K a lock line. And this is one of the like smallest diameter one. I think this is a quarter of an inch. Then you would have like a half inch hose, more like your vacuum hose. And uh, yeah, and at the end of it, I think the thing most familiar to everyone is this uh, rather, rather larger alligator clip and yeah i've put the heat shrink on it because you know it was all rather sharp and yeah you can grab stuff with it so say you want to have a bit more light i mean yeah i mean it's a, this is like a silly demo uh, but if you've seen like if you've watched some of my previous videos i've already used it once and I've used it before. I mean, it, it is really useful. It's a third hand, so, you know. And I think the last thing about this in terms of construction, well, two things actually in terms of construction. This is an M8 screw because this cheapo mag base has just like a hole threaded for M8, so metric. And you know, the usual idea is that if you're a professional, you're gonna get like proper attachments to that for measuring stuff, holding stuff and whatnot. I've just put an M8 bolt and two washers. And then first fun part of this project was trying to connect plastic with metal. I've tried a bunch of things, but uh, yeah, the answer is use epoxy. Nothing else will work. And uh, well, it might look like it works until you actually you know, try to move it and then it breaks. So epoxying that, and now the, I think the most important and most hidden thing is that lock line itself is not supposed to mechanically support, you know, like much of stuff. So the magic trick is that you actually stick steel wire inside. So, you know, I have, I think at least three, probably like five strands of 1.4 millimeter thick steel rod inside. And this is actually what you know, gives it uh, the rigidity necessary to, you know, actually hold some weight on this end. Uh, it's still not, you know, you're not gonna be putting pounds or kilograms on the end, but uh, just the fact that you can 
I just the fact that you have this great reach. I mean, look, I can, I can reach into the camera with this. I think this will be like probably over half a meter. I guess we can try to measure it, or at least approximate it, as we have the tools. Yeah, it's 50, 50 centimeters. So half a meter long arm that you can position as you wish. And as you can see, as long as you have suitable uh, surface, the mag base is not gonna move anywhere now. If you take it out, you can move it around. And yeah, really useful thing. It does take some space, which is why when unused, I'm trying to just keep it in this sort of a coil. And yeah, I mean, if you want a longer one, just spend more money on the on the lock line because you get it like in uh, sections. And I assume that normal people just buy a special tool to push them together. Uh, I'm a gorilla, so I just you know, like with my hands and a lot of swearing, I actually managed to connect them and done it a couple of times. But yeah, I mean, I think this looks very cool. It is quite useful. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as usual, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please do use the comment section. It's there for a reason. Thank you for watching. Bye.